If you want to draw, paint, or sculpt people, objects, and places realistically, you'll need to learn basic drawing skills first. If you try to skip this foundational step, you'll try and try to create what you're seeing or the vision you have in your mind, and it will be difficult for you to get it right, and it'll take you much longer to create a final art portfolio that you'll feel really proud of submitting. No matter how much creative talent you have, you have to consistently work on developing it by first following and practicing certain drawing rules and techniques. Admissions counselors of the top art programs value your ability to draw objects, people, and surroundings realistically. They want to see evidence that you're able to draw what you see, so it's important to take the time to learn basic drawing for your art portfolio. We begin our basic drawing course by asking you to make a series of blind drawings a widely used method where you draw a subject without looking at your drawing. Your eyes will be fixated on the subject that you are observing while you draw on the paper without looking down to see what you're doing. It will look a lot like a bunch of scribbles that don't make sense, but that's the point of the exercise. By staring at a subject continually rather than looking at the paper to see what you're doing, it forces you to slow down and take time to look at the object to analyze it. Looking closely and really seeing the details and nuances of things and people and places is key to being able to draw them realistically. Following this are other exercises that will help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to see and render form, perspective, light, value, and composition, including contour drawing, which is another basic drawing technique that will help your observation skills. This style of drawing is when your eyes constantly go back and forth between the subject and your drawing while transferring your visual information directly to your hand movement. Once you start your line, you draw continuously as your eyes move. Your line should be one single clean line that does not go back and forth, thus not repeating the information that you already drew. You'll also learn freehand pen drawing where you make various marks with a pen, using marks that convey the feeling of the texture well, adjusting the pressure of the pen to create a range of thinner lines, medium thick lines, and darker and thicker lines by overlapping multiple lines over each other. Then you'll learn the basics of pencil drawing and shading. A pencil is one of the most versatile mediums to work with, and you'll learn to draw from direct visual observation, catch details of the subjects, and avoid drawing from your memories. You'll learn why we use a layered approach to create values on graphite pencils, how to control your pencil direction and pressure to achieve a smooth tone, and the consistent quality of lines by making many observational drawings using all the information you learned previously and how the mark makings are applied to different textures of the subjects. Then you'll learn about shading and volume. By learning to shade basic three-dimensional geometric shapes, seeing how light reacts to these shapes will make the understanding of shading much easier in any subject that you draw later for your art portfolio. Then finally, you'll end the course by drawing a still life using a grid system that's of equal ratio on both your reference picture and your workspace to help you draw the image on your paper. And then a positive and negative space drawing creating a pattern outline for the negative space using a ruler and measuring out the negative space. With each section of the basic drawing course, you'll begin to see everything through the lenses of form, perspective, light, value, and composition, and the effect will be that your artwork will significantly improve. We've seen many times that students frustrated with their current skill level develop incredibly quickly by following the basic art exercises outlined in this course, and then move on to making the work they've imagined in their mind, work that really impresses admissions counselors at the top art schools. That's why we've expanded our in-person experience through our new online basic drawing course. It's an engaging, flexible, and accessible art course that will empower you to explore your creative potential and develop your drawing skills at your own pace, and will send you the workbook and all the materials you'll need. Ashken Art offers pre-college portfolio preparation courses year-round. Learn more about our courses at ashcanart.com and see accepted art portfolio examples on Instagram at ashcan.art. And please subscribe below for more art portfolio tips.